And it will and it'll lead you to this challenge right here, which is called First Find. And there's a description here and inside the challenge. It says unzip this archive and find the file named uber-secret.txt. Okay, and they also have a they also have a link to the zip file that, uh, that contains the uh, the file associated with the challenge over here. And uh, as you can see. Um, each one of these challenge windows also has a field for inputting the flag, which is the um, which is the goal of the exercise over here, and, as well as a submit flag button. And there's also an upvote and downvote button over here, which you can click on after you finish the challenge to show whether or not you were satisfied with this challenge. So this one is a relatively highly rated challenge. 87% of the people who did this challenge liked it. So let's start the challenge. All you need to do is right click on the download zip file link over here and click on copy link address. So after you do that, we can go back to our web shell. So inside our web shell, we're going to create our own directory for solving this challenge. Um, this challenge is called first find. First find. Okay, so let's create a directory for first find. You can do that with the um, mkdir command, make dir, and then first find. So make dir, first find, is going to create this directory inside of your Linux web shell. Uh, to anybody, after inputted command, we will find ourselves inside of that directory. We do pwd. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so this only creates a directory. Uh, to actually go into the directory, we have to use the cd command. So cd first find. And now we're inside the first find directory. Okay. All right. So I'm going to have to copy that link again. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to copy the link address again. Then I'm going to go back to the web shell and I'm going to use the wget command to download the file. So inside of the Linux terminal, you can use wget to download files. So it's wget and then provide the link for the file. You can do that with uh, with Control Shift V to paste it in. And after that, just enter, press enter, and then that will download the file. So we download this file. It's called files.zip. If we do ls to list out the contents of the directory, let's do la and um, as well, just to get some um, more information from this command. We see that there is a file called files.zip inside the directory. And if we were to use the file command on this, it's going to tell us that it is a compressed archive. So this is a zip archive data file. So the, the method of unzipping the file, so what we need to do is unzip the file to get access to all of the files inside. Um, the command is uh, simply unzip and then the name of the file. So it's going to be unzip files.zip. So run that command. And you're going to see that it, um, it, it unzips a bunch of files inside a bunch of directories over here. So all of these files are unzipped right here. So what we need to do is we need to access this, access the, um, the file that was specified inside of the challenge. So if we go back to the challenge description, it says to unzip this archive and find the file named uber-secret.txt. So we're going to go back to... So first I'm going to copy the name of this file over here, just so I can paste it into, into, the, into the terminal after after we go back to it. So I've got the name of the file over here, so and I've copied it, so when I go back to the terminal, I can just paste it in when I need to. Okay, so we have all of our directories right here. So we see that um, we've got the files directory right here, and if we look inside of that directory, we can see that there are three other directories in here. 
But what we want to do is we want to use the find command to um, the find command to find the exact file that we're looking for. So the command is going to be find, and then we're going to have to give it the name, the name tag over here, and then the dash name argument, and then the um, the name of the file that we're looking for. Right. So the name of the file we're looking for is this one right here, uber-secret.txt. Um, another thing we need to do is we need to provide um, the directory that uh, the find command is going to look inside and we're going to specify dot over here. So dot refers to this directory that we're in right now and any other directories underneath this directory. So find dot dash name uber dash secret dot txt. All right, so we run that command and we see that it matches this file right here. So it's um, this directory and then files and then adequate books and then more books and then dot secret and then deeper secrets and then deepest secrets and then uber secret dot txt. So normally if we were to try to look for this file inside of the directories manually, it would be quite, um, it'd be quite time consuming and tedious. So we, uh, so it's good that we have that the we have the find command in order to expedite all that. So in order to read this file, we would need to use the cat command. So we would use cat, and then normally, in order to read this, we would need to type all of this out right here, this whole file path right here. Uh, but we don't need to do that. We simply need to highlight all of this. And then after we let go of the mouse button, um, the terminal is going to copy it for us, which is quite convenient. But this is um, this is a feature of the Pico CTF web shell. Uh, most other shells don't do this. So after that, uh, this file path is copied to our clipboard. So we can just paste it in. So just do Control Shift V, and it's pasted in. So it would be cat, and then this file path right here ending in uber-secret.txt. So let's read that. After we read this um, read this file, we get the flag for the file and it's um, picoctf and uh, it says find is fast. So remember that um, most of the flags for picoctf challenges are individualized. So this portion right here is um, is individualized for my particular username. So even if you copy this exact flag, it's probably not going to work for, for you for a submission. So please copy your own flag. So highlight the flag and that's going to copy it. And then we go back to the web page. And then inside of the, uh, the challenge, we can paste in this flag in this flag submission field right here. And then we click on submit flag and then we get to 100 points. Good for us. Okay, so after we've done that, we can go back to the challenge page. So after you've, um, after you've solved, the, solved the challenge, you can go over back to the, uh, to the challenge description page and you can click on the rate positive button, the upvote button right here, just to show some appreciation for the challenge makers. Hey there, Hacker Frogs! Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.